Today video I am going to show you that Lewis structure, geometry and bond angle of a compound. So first to determine that Lewis structure, you need to count that steric number. So you can also see that whole uh, whiteboard I draw a lot of structure. So this is just a common concept. So before going to that Lewis structure, you need to know that steric number. Then we will go that geometry and the effect of that lone pair. So first to determine that uh, aesthetic number you need to know that single bond is count as one and double bond also is count as one triple also count as one and lone pair also count as one so uh, to uh, determine that aesthetic number i can give you an example right so we already know that structure of water molecule right so in that order molecule there is two single bond right so one two and two lone pair one three this is four so one two three four so this number are count as aesthetic number so any kind of compounds like ammonia you can see that structure so ammonia has three single bond right single bond which will count as three and one lone pair which will count as one so ammonia also have like four steric number okay so when we count that four or, or any uh, steric number then we can go through that general topics and we can go through that Lewis structure geometry and bond angle of any compound okay so today video i'm going to show you the specific compound lewis structure which is uh, silicon o4 four, four minus so here you can see that chemical formula of that so i'm going to draw their lewis structure then geometry then uh, i'm going to show you that bond angle what that compound have so First, to determine that Lewis structure, we need to find out their valence electron, okay? Then you know that, that silicon has four valence electron and the oxygen has six multiplied by four and we already have four minus extra electron. So we need to add here four. Then this will be total 32 valence electron. So we determine that valence electron, then we need to determine that Lewis structure. So before go to that Lewis structure, you need to find out which one has least electronegativity. So for silicon, you know that it has 1.9 electronegativity and oxygen it has 3.44. So we need to draw that silicon in the middle, okay? So this is the rule of Lewis structure, the least electronegativity will go that middle of that structure so we will get silicon here then we will draw their valence electron around that element then we will get that Lewis structure so what we have silicon and oxygen so total we have valence electron 32 and we need to Then has six valence electron and we have two oxygen here and left will be here and then we need to uh, remove that part so that we can we can easily get that picture So you can count that there is 32 electron. So what we got from here, valence electron, which was 32, okay? So this is the valence electron. It is 32 and we need to draw here. Then we need to put that third bracket because of that negative value. And we need to put that negative value like that, okay? So this is your Lewis structure of that compound then we will find out that aesthetic uh, number which is like so if i draw again 
So this structure is like that. So one, two, three, four. We have four steric number. And for four steric number, you need to go to that table and just mess with them, okay? So this is our four steric number. And we know that without lone pair, the geometry is tetrahedral, okay? So we don't have any lone pair here. So we can say that we have tetrahedral geometry. Tetrahedral geometry. And of course, there is no lone pair. That means that bond angle will be 109. So, if I draw that bond angle, so it will be like that. Okay? 109 degree. So, this is our bond angle. I, uh, you cannot see any impact of lone pair on bond angle because this compound have no lone pair, okay? So we got, what we got here, Lewis structure, which is that, or you can draw also that one. Then we got the geometry, which is tetrahedral, then bond angle, which is 109 because uh, it relates to that steric number, which is tetrahedral and 109 degree bond angle. I think you got that. Thank you.